Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's a little spotty bag using In Colour Designer Series paper. Now, we sell our papers in packs of six by six inches, which means that the bag size you can get is kind of reasonably small, unless you're going to do cardstock and you're going to stick paper to the outside. Often I will use 12 by 12 paper and make massive boxes and I thought well why can't I do the same with our 6 by 6 paper. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to use two to make a bigger bag. This finishes up at four and a half by four by one and a half inches um, which is 11 and a quarter by 10 by four centimetres. Leave your 6 by 6 DSP exactly the size it is. Those in metric often I will say well you need to trim it down. You don't with this. Leave it at your 15 and a quarter by 15 and a quarter centimetres. Okay, so we're going to repeat the same thing on both pieces of paper. So on the first side, score it at uh, one and a half and five and a half, and then turn it round and score it at one and a half, and do exactly the same on the other one. No difference. So one and a half, five and a half, turn it one and a half metric folk that's uh, 4 and 14 and turn it and do it at 4. Easy peasy. Okay so I think you're probably going to see the stripy side but do you know what? <laughs> I can't see a thing. Love the paper. Doesn't film all that brilliantly. Okay so let me fold these score lines. I'm, I'm going to have to feel for them. There it is. Once I've cut it you'll see it. So I folded them up. Yeah, this is a great way to use our paper and make it. You know, I wanted a paper bag. And I wanted a spotty paper bag in an in colour. So I made my own. Okay, so I might have to do this with um, a pen, a marker. So I'm just going to put in where the score lines are for you. This is like one of those um, magic eye pictures. Okay, so that's where I'm at. We're going to cut this line here, just cut straight up, and we're going to take away that bit, wedge a little bit there, and wedge a little bit off the top. When I've done it, you'll see it. But I now can't see on that side because I've drawn all over it. And again, you're doing exactly the same on both pieces of paper. Okay, so I've mitered at the top, mitered there and taken that bit away and I've made this loose. Easy peasy, isn't it? Two that are exactly the same. I'm gonna run adhesive down here and this one, might as well while I'm there. The best thing about tear and tape is when you rip off not quite enough, because it's double sided, um, when you peel off the backing, that bit that's overlapped too far, I'm just gonna stick it back on itself. Right, so now, now there is a little bit of fun in games. We do need to line one up. So I'm gonna line this loose edge here not to this bit, but to this bit, so that there's no black. So that's essentially sticking underneath. And I might need to go quiet and concentrate. There we go. So basically, I've simply extended my paper so it's now uh, 10 and a half inches. No, sorry, 11 and a half inches by six inches. There we go, fold that over. And then, obviously, there's a seam on both sides. There's a seam there and there's a seam there. Doesn't really matter which one you go with. Fold in the sides and the back. More tear and tape. And close it up. And that's my bag. So I'm just going to pinch it. I'm going to pinch with my two fingers, two forefingers, there and there. And I'm squeezing with these fingers. OK. 
Okay, and depending on what you've got inside, it might resist at that point. See, it's resisting lower there. This is how good quality our paper is. Oh, awesome paper. Right, so I'm grabbing my blueberry bushel matching. No, I'm not. I'm grabbing the white first. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the classic weave ribbon. So I'm gonna grab this and wrap it round front to back. Now I'm gonna get my blueberry bushel. I'm actually just gonna anchor this shut for a second with a couple of pegs. And tie my blueberry ribbon in a bow around it. We need those pegs a little bit further to the side. Oh, I can't get hold of anything today. So I'm going to tie this in a bow. worried too much about the white being loose because I'm going to tighten it a bit like you tighten a ponytail. Drop the end there and there. Position it and you can see it's a little bit loose so if I just go like that, pull the, the white in opposite directions, it tightens it all up. Trim off any excess. Oh, I've got a bit of... I've got tear and tape backing attached to me. And that will keep it shut. Well, not completely, but I didn't want it completely shut. Okay, so I've got those bits on, and then I've got two panels here. Three by three inches, seven and a half by seven and a half centimetres, and two and three quarters by two and three quarter inches which is seven by seven centimeters. And then I've got the perennial birthday stamp set. So I've pulled in in colors for this one. I'm gonna do the same as well. Um, oh, I don't know what to write. Do I want to do the same today, plumes, just for you? Let's have a look, see how, it's probably, that's gonna to be too long. Um, I'll do the same, I'll do, is this one gonna fit? Oh, it will do. I don't know what it says. What does that one say? Birthday cheers all round. Okay. So, get this on a block. And I'm going to line it up so it's reasonably straight. Bling in, bling in, bring in my blueberry bushel. Oh, that's a bit of a bit of a lot of alliteration. <laughs> you know what that meant. I'm going to set it off to the top. that away and then I'm going to bring in some of my other in colour. So I've got Call Me Clover, I've got Lovely Lipstick and I have looking for, there it is, Pineapple Punch. Shall I bring in Grapefruit Grove as well? Why not? Let's just bring all five in. So, actually I want to prep my stamps up first. No, I only want three of them, don't. No, I do want a green. So I'm going to have that one, that one, that one and some leaves. So put them on blocks first probably would be easier so we'll have a bit of lovely lipstick on there and a little bit peeping off at the top Grapefruit Grove in this one, I think. Pineapple Punch in this one. And then some leaves in Call Me Clover. Oh, just dropped my 
block into the ink pad then. There we go. And so I can now layer that with some snail. Onto there. And then dimensionals in all four corners. And onto the front of my bag. And that, I think, is a rather charming way to make use of the 6x6 paper slightly differently. You can't see a seam. When it's on a busy paper like this, you can't see it. So I've got a seam there that I don't think you can see. And I've got a seam there that I don't believe you can see. But I think those are lovely. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye.